but really excited to introduce Narendra Varma. Um, Narendra Varma is a farmer. He's going to tell us all about it. Apparently, he couldn't keep a house plant alive, but now runs a farm. So take it away, Narendra. Thank you so much, Lisa. I'm very grateful to be here. Uh, my name is Narendra, and uh, my background is actually in high tech. Uh, but uh, around uh, about a decade ago, my wife and I were really sort of passionate about what we call the holy nexus of food and community, decided to kind of devote all of our time, money, and energy and, and love to sort of working in the food system. We were definitely inspired by the slow money movement. I've been uh, part of that for a long time now. Um, and we sort of put all our resources into trying to imagine what a you know, relocalized community scale food system might look like. Um, so what we tried to build with our table um, starting around 2013 was a model community food system owned by the community. Uh, next, please. So we, uh, as an organization, are based on a 60 acre farm located outside of uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, there's about 35,000 households within a five mile radius of us. Next, please. The farm is certified organic and uh, we grow vegetables, fruits and flowers on the farm itself. Um, next, please. And we also have a grocery store and commercial kitchen which offers a year round full diet of local and organic foods. Um, next. Um, all of this is supplemented by a variety of kind of community events and educational events that really bring the community to the farm on a regular basis. Everything from, uh, you know, wood fired pizza happy hours to dinners in the fields to uh, educational kind of things with local school. And our motto is really building community through food. Next, please. Um, we are owned by um, our, our community. Uh, which consists of three stakeholder groups. Uh, there's all of us who work uh, in the organization and we are workers. Uh, we're paid a living wage, 60% are female, uh, about 50% are uh, people of color. Um, we also have 14 producer members, which are independent food businesses and farms that supplement what we grow on the farm um, and, and allow us to provide that sort of more a variety of, of products to the, to the market. And then the third category is really our consumers and there are 520 consumer members of the co-op right now. And this group together owns the business. Uh, we also have a, a variety of institutional and independent uh, individual investors who over the last seven or eight years have invested $1.4 million into the project. Next please. And we are looking to um, raise $150,000 in equity financing. Um, really with a focus on building climate resilience. Uh, I think this year and the last year really showed us that um, climate change is here. It's impacting all of us very, very deeply. And uh, we have decided to move our focus entirely uh, around that goal. So on the farm itself, that means uh, switching 100% to no-till organic methods um, and really building soil carbon. And I think perhaps even more importantly, really trying to build social cohesion since it seems that it would be impossible for us as a society to address something as big as climate with the sort of divisiveness that we see in our society today. So building social cohesion, building community through food is really our mission. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can just envision myself at that beautiful table. I think everyone in the chat is dying to get up there. That was perfect.